21 minutes past seven. He's the man who's been called the nicest man in Britain. At the beginning of the year, 26-year-old Luke Cameron pledged to do a good deed every day for 365 days. So far, he has given away a winning lottery ticket, paid for a stranger's meals, and left cash in a supermarket, and all for one reason, to make strangers and loved ones smile. I am sat in a local takeaway, um, a drive through KFC, and there's a couple, there's one person behind me and there's a couple of people in front of me, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay for the food of the person behind me. For Luke Cameron, buying a stranger's meal was a case of another day, another good deed. What began as a New Year's resolution has led to hundreds of smiles and a social media storm. This competition is to find a young, deserving person of my um, unused Nintendo Wii. From giving away goods, to leaving money on cars, to buying a rose for a heartbroken friend. And his biggest fans are his family. Uncle Luke, I love you. Thank you for these kindness cards. Oh, and Luke joins us now. Well, it's lovely to meet the nicest man in the country. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you both? Uh, yeah, yeah, good. Really good. And it's very kind of you to come in to talk to us. What, what, what was behind this, doing a good deed? every day sure so I lost somebody um, from cancer last year you know we all go through really hard times in our life and it really shook me to my core so um, last year I um, dedicated my birthday to Mora and raised some money for charity and then decided if I could raise money then then I'd be able to continue doing it so I started the blog the good deed diary and it went on from there really and that's more there that's is it? more there yeah so look from from tragedy came this this plan to mm. spread a little bit of love and sure. happiness to all sorts of people how did you decide what you were going to do and what these what these gestures were going to be? I never do. Um, it's been it really is random. I just try and incorporate it into my daily life. So if I see somebody that genuinely needs help, like they've dropped something on the floor or somebody's fallen over on the street, then I go and help. And I've kind of made it my personal mission to be that person that does that. So it doesn't always have to be big things like giving away a winning lottery ticket no. or anything like that. It can simply be offering a hand to somebody who needs it right then and there. Sure, absolutely. I, I try to incorporate in what I do in my life you know I live a normal life I have a normal job and I've just tried to keep that in keeping with that I do do big grand gestures for milestone points like the hundredth good deed and the two hundredth but generally I do with them every day so it's pretty difficult to keep thinking of inventive ideas so yeah, yeah you just take it as life comes and do it that way it's everyday kindness every day and tell us about the 100th and the 200th good deeds then what did you plan for those days so the 100th good deed was when I gave the Nintendo Wii away and that went to Bristol Children's Hospital went to the physiotherapy unit Brilliant. I picked a winner and uh, I can't remember the 200th, but I, the, the last one I did, the 300th, was where I gave the Disney Frozen dolls away because you can't get them. So I got them shipped over from Los Angeles and uh, I had like five, 600 people enter the competition and they went to um, a little young boy actually who um, he absolutely wanted them, so I was like, perfect, they're going to go to him. Well, it's very relevant to it's my last discussion. We just isn't talking it? to Jay Swinson about uh, toy equality and the sure. fact that you were able to give them to a little boy. So we're coming up to the end of the year now, so yeah. how many you've got, what, sort of 15? 14, 14, 14 left. Yeah. left to do. Have you got a big one planned for the last one? Um, New Year's Eve, um, I think I'm quite busy, but I'm going <laughs> to plan and do something. I don't know. You could get the beers in I could everyone. do. I there could go buy a round of the drinks, pub. exactly. That, that I'll see how it goes, but I don't tend to plan them that much. Tell me about the winning lottery ticket. How much, how much did it win? I think it was £25. So it wasn't, we're not talking millions, but I remember winning it and thinking, I've never won any money on the lottery before. And I was in a car park at the time buying a parking ticket and I just went to the lady behind me, here you go, I've won. And she was like... Oh my God! Oh my goodness! I was like, it's not the jackpot. Don't worry. <laughs> People must think you're like a secret millionaire. Is this Famous, costing yeah. you a lot of money? Do you have a lot of money? No, I don't. I have a normal job, but I've sacrificed going out, drinking, um, buying myself things. You know. Do you know how much it's cost you? About maybe three or four thousand over the year. Wow. Yeah. So I've just kind of all that money that I would have saved. It's just gone on. And, people. and you've got a new job through all of this as well, haven't you? Tell us about your new I job. I have. So I will be working with a company called UA, which has been dubbed the nicest job in Britain. So I won a national competition and I will basically be going around the country every week. I will be with a different charity. So my blog will continue and I will be with a different charity every single week next year um, representing UA, which is a utility consultancy in the UK. Brilliant. It's absolutely lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. And I think it's made us all realise we need to... You're a bit you know, more generous in each other. I help those. you all the time, though, clearing know, up after you, know, catching you really do. fizzy drinks. <laughs> it's great, all that great sort of to stuff. see you. Thanks Thank so you much. So much. Have a really happy Christmas and a lovely New Year. Thank absolutely. you very much. Best of luck with a new job as well Thank when you. that starts. Yeah, really good.